Good afternoon. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotocraft RC. We're going to do a little walkthrough of our showroom now. It's been about four months since we've done a video of our showroom and everything has changed. You're probably only going to recognize one case that was in our last video. The first case we're going to talk about is our stealth case. Now it's not complete. Today is Wednesday. There's a hurricane right off the coast of Florida. And tomorrow morning we're boogieing to Texas for the big Warburg show over at Arca. But before we leave, this case will be done. So this is our stealth case. Once again, we black one all out. And this is going to have an Apache attack helicopter in the front. It's going to be looking at your face. Chris has cut the acrylics already. He's got the deck done. All we got to do now is apply the print and install everything. We're not going to have it illuminated by the show. Uh, everybody will appreciate it anyways. It's a great print. This right here is a case that we're coming out with for the FPV and our RC car guys. And these are our two honors cases. This is for fallen firefighters and this is for fallen police officers. This is going to be another FPV case. This has got the ISDT 620 in it. We went ahead and did a single one, but it's already shipped out and we did a dual version. This one is not complete yet. We'll have it done by the time we get back from the show. Now this is a first for us. This is the first time we've ever put a bump controller up in the lid. This is our new GT500 case. This has a Meanwell 500 and a GT500 made by Rev Electric. This is just like our Pro case, it just does not have the HD material in it. This is the, the regular standard vinyl that we use. And this is our Revo acrylic case. This case came out stellar. Chris polished it and cleaned it up yesterday and got everything uh, put together. It's ready to go to the show with us. And once again, it's got a bump controller in it, so we don't even have to be able to touch the front of the charger at all. Everything is done via the bump control screen. and we took the backs off of everything to where you can see all the electronics inside the case being used. From the power supplies, to the bump controller, to the charger. Now everybody's seen the Black Ops case. It's been in the last couple of videos. We're still waiting on some logos to be done by Team Ninja. We're being very patient. Even if they got them to us, we couldn't get them installed anyways. We've just been slammed for the last two and a half weeks. Now, I know you recognize this case. This is Ethan's case. This is the one that my 10-year-old son built. And then this is our case that you always see in the show. This has got our iPad in the upper deck, and this is how we do our point of sale and everything on uh, at the shows. This is Hunter's TDR2 Heinzlet case. We actually have a print that's going in up in the top. We have it, we just have not had time to crack this puppy open and get into it. Now that we're talking about Hunter's case, the reason why we haven't popped the top off and done the print yet is because we're gonna redo the bottom deck. He's kind of being a guinea pig. See, that's what happens when you leave your cases here. If you leave your case here, we're gonna figure out something to do with it. Well, we came up with this new idea of a mortise and tenon. Seems I'm a cabinet guy by trade, by love. Mortising and tenning is actually a very strong connection. And the epoxy, the chemical weld that we use, will go in here and these will lock in place. There's no more measuring for us to put anything together. Plus when you have glue coming up on the sides that becomes sheer, you actually have to shear the glue off for it to come off. So this is a new way that we've designed to put these together. Not that we had any problems at all with our Pro Decks before, 
but we're just wanting to make it easier for us to install them. And everything lining up is the way to do it. And everybody knows our Pro Double XL case. This is our Pro case. That's a standard Pro case. I went ahead and messed around the other day and made some connections. I will never, ever, ever do that again. It was about two and a half hours to solder all these up. And then here is our small 920 Pro case, kind of like our grab and go case for little traveling. Now, once again, everybody knows we nickname 80% of the cases that come through here. Instead of calling off an invoice number or something like that, we just come up with a clever little name. It gives us something to yell back and forth from office to office. This one I dubbed the Chihuahua. It's that cute little bitty teeny tiny case that you think a woman could throw in her purse and carry around with her. It was fun to build. I don't know why we built it. We'll probably never sell so then it. Then we came up with the baby Chihuahua. Now this thing is smaller than a lunchbox. It's the cutest thing ever. Just like the Chihuahua, we'll probably never sell one, but they do have the teeny tiny little Meanwell power supplies inside of them. So we'll get this one together before we head to the show. And just for reference, that's a 925 case, which is small. This is the baby Chihuahua case. So that kind of tells you the difference in sizes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry we haven't made one for a couple weeks, but we have been very, very, very busy. And this is my cameraman. But as you can see over Chris's top right shoulder, the FPV stuff is now toward the back of the shoulder. We still have all the FPV stuff. If you notice, there's an empty corner over there. That's where our FPV box is coming out. Please subscribe to our YouTube page. We have a Facebook page, a Rotocraft RC, three words. We even have an Instagram page, Rotocraft. Always give us a call, 407-656-7881, or you can email us, rotarywingrc at gmail.com or rotorcraftrc at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, and I hope you all have a great day. And this is my gaffer. Is that a, a woman could put it in her purse and bring it to the flying field for her husband. That might have been a little racist or sexist or one of those. But anyways, this one's the nickname, the Chihuahua. Pro case. I don't know if I'll use the RFID tag, which is not on this lipo. Okay, this is our firefighter honors court. And these are both our honor cases, our firefighter honor case and our patrolman, policeman, serviceman, whatever you want to call it.